this is the software I wanted you guys to download, which is Anaconda. This is what it will look like when it opens up. So I think uh, Wiki did not have it, and Nitin is facing issues. So Wiki, do you see the same screen now after installation? Have you started it? Can you just type in the chat? Uh, Vicky, you can speak. Okay, it is getting installed. Fine, while it's getting installed, I'll just explain. This is the same screen that you will see, Vicky. Okay, and others might be seeing the same thing. So just ignore many of the things that are here. Anaconda is a uh, has multiple softwares. So all of them which say launch are already available to you. Okay, you can launch these. They are installed. These can be installed separately. You can install others. So let's not go into all of these. What you will need are two things. Jupyter Notebook and Spider. Okay. So Anaconda is uh, open source. What does open source mean? It is free for individuals to use. And uh, that's why we've downloaded this free software for uh, corporate use. They charge some fee and licensing cost is there. Okay. So the beauty about Anaconda is that you can just install Anaconda and use either Jupyter Notebook, this one, or Spider, both uh, have a different interface but both uh, can run any type of python code and it, it just depends on your preference okay so uh, to to begin with i can show you how jupyter notebook works just so that you get a feel of how it looks like and then we can move to spider because it's mm, something that i prefer for learning and presentation Jupyter Notebooks is a good option actually because uh, it has something called a markdown. Okay, I'll show you what a markdown is. So, so Vicky, once uh, this will be just theory, so you can just watch my screen. Okay, and once you get it downloaded, just look at this lesson and try and copy all the things that I was doing. So, let me start with Jupyter Notebook. I'll click on launch. So if you see, it went to my browser, okay? And as soon as you click on launch, you will see this local host, double it, double it, like this. So what does this tell you? This went to the browser. It is a web browser based tool, okay? It runs in the browser with your local host. That means your laptop or your desktop is the host, is the server on which all the processing will happen. It is not going to any online place. All the processing will happen on your system. So your data is safe. Okay. So that's what local host means. Uh, this is the interface that you will see. This is the, uh, this is a clickable button. It will just take you to the home page. Jupyter quit log out. You know, you can do this to close the page and all. Uh, by default files will be selected and this view will be visible to you so files this has direct access to all your files on the system so it will show you the same uh, folder structure that you have so this is currently showing showing me my folder structure okay for you it will be showing you your folder structure running shows you if there are any codes or any notebooks that are currently running since we don't have anything running uh, nothing is showing and uh, clusters is something you know it's more for the big data and all so we don't have any clusters clusters is like a, a, a storage and a computing space and a cpu that you uh, allocate on a server and you can call that a cluster 
so that's not something that we do we're not working on cloud or anything this is working with the local uh, host with your laptop as the server so that's why this is also blank yeah so this is about the interface now how do you write the code so as you know this is your folder structure and all you have to go to new fine and click on python 3 okay as soon as you do a new tab will open like this now this is where you type your python code and this is all some familiar fields file edit view insert and all you will see in many softwares right so here you can change your viewing options here you can insert certain things if you want so this says insert cell above insert cell below so this is called a cell where you're trying to write anything okay so if i type this and you know try to by using this run i can run so it will just try to run a code okay so i mean this does not mean anything so it has given uh, an error suppose i type print say one run it it will print one if i type just one and run it it will just print one okay so basically this is the structure here you can write something and here you can uh, see the result as soon as it gets executed using this run button okay you can click on this button to stop it this is for refreshing or restarting the kernel kernel means uh, this instance of the notebook kernel is the uh, you can say the local server that's called the kernel so if you restart the kernel then uh, uh, you know the entire thing refreshes whatever temporary variables and and things you will have will all get deleted and all that's the thing so another option in the cells is code and markdown okay suppose this is a cell i change it to markdown the cell had code selected in it right if i change it to markdown now it will not run codes i can just write something here okay so i can write my first python code enter and then just run it see it will print it like a heading so this is very uh, you can put images and smart art and all that in here so this makes it very handy to present certain things so you can just write a heading about what you're trying to do then write the code here then again describe what you're going to do then write the code so it's very easy to present and explain that's the purpose of jupyter notebooks okay for writing large codes it's not as user friendly that's why i prefer spider uh it's it's uh, it's it just looks more it's just more professional for for my taste uh, but some people like to do their work in jupyter notebooks uh, notebook exclusively as well so i mean it's a personal choice okay so this is where you can write some code so this was jupyter notebook let's go back to anaconda or the other this was the option we were talking about jupyter notebook the other option is spider let's launch spider you can launch these separately from here as well you can type spider and you can launch it from here or you can type only jupyter notebook and you can this one you can run jupyter notebooks directly from here you don't necessarily have to go to anaconda and then uh go to spider or notebook but while installing make sure anaconda whole package is installed then you do this otherwise uh, you know there might be some few trouble full few few troublesome things that you might face and anaconda just bypasses all of that and it just becomes very easy okay so spider is open this is spider it may have a white screen for you i have just chosen a black theme so don't worry about it but uh, this is what it looks like if i let's say open a new code forget about all these these are just old codes that i have open 
let's say I open a new code like this. What it will do is we'll just type created on this date who was the author. Okay, so it will just pick up uh, my username and just write it there. Then you can start writing your code here, whatever you want to write. Okay, and then you can save your file as a dot py file. So this uh, the difference between spider is uh, spider will save it as a dot py file. Okay, and Jupyter notebook will save it as i pnb i p y b or something like that okay i pi n b file so these formats are uh, uh, not directly compatible so you have to convert the notebook file into dot py you can't just change the extension if you just simply change the extension of the file it's not going to work you have to convert it using jupyter notebooks only you convert it into dot py and then it will open in spider as well basically uh, uh, jupyter notebook codes cannot be directly opened in spider they have to be converted to dot py and then they will open into spider that's the that's another difference so the saving format for those two are different 